Well, hey everybody, we're going to call this video How to Make Yourself Instantly Interesting. So let's say you're um, in social settings, you know, there's other people around, groups of people, or just you're talking to someone else, or you're meeting someone at the cash register, or you just have a few moments in an elevator with someone, right? How do you make an impact? How do you, how do you um, get them to like you really fast, right? And uh, there's really no special tricks or anything. This is not about tricks. This is about um, taking things that are interesting about you and putting them out there really fast for the other soul, the other human being, to notice and say, hey, I'd like to chat with you, I'd like to spark conversation. So uh, I've noticed, uh, for me, my social skills have been uh, growing, right, and, you know, as I'm working on them, uh, as I'm practicing things. and. Not only do I ask for pe people's business cards or contact, but I've noticed uh, sometimes, lately, people are asking for my contacts, for my business card, before I even uh, think about getting a connection to them. So, uh, the, the, the answer, okay, how do you do this? You, you open, multiple threads don't open too many threads but open multiple threads open you know six seven topics um, you, you know it, it, that way uh, you know and, and I look with Dasha like I had these multiple threads open at the same time right away and I think that's why she was able to like me, kind of like the first time we met, and and later found me interesting because I, we kept building on those. You know, you, you could you could do some monologue where you just speak, right? Oh man, this elevator! You know, why does it have to stop on all these floors? It's just like. I don't know, something, bad example, but multiple threads, learn about that, learn research about multiple threads, multiple topics, uh, uh, like yesterday at the auto parts store, I was, you know, I asked the guys serious question, when was the last time you've been to the beach, you know, you know, there's other cities you could live at. Sebring, Ocala, Lakeland, Orlando, and um, and then also asked them. I said, uh, "How many of these water pumps do you have in stock?" And they're like, six. And I was like, "Man, now I'm at a real parts store instead of those Mickey Mouse places." And uh, what else did we talk about? One of the guys mentioned he had the same kind of cars. I was asking about oh and I also asked where do you guys get your cars worked on who buys a lot of parts from you guys and uh, they told me about a reputable shop for them in the area and I was like oh sweet uh, so right there with a the parts guy I didn't just get parts but I talked to him a little bit and Dasha notices this and she kind of gets annoyed by it if I talk too much to people too long but she's like wow you can make an impression on anyone and even with the police right in, in some encounters and in car hauling um, if I was in a bad area uh, or lost and I just pulled over and was trying to figure out the map and everything and police rolled up he's like uh it was just inquiring about 
who I am and what I'm doing. And I opened up multiple threads with him. I was like, yeah, I'm hauling these exotic cars. And by the way, I, I, I learned how to find good deals on, on cars from working with these people, my customers. And uh, do you guys have a orange 69 Camaro in town? If you do, I want to know about it. Here's my business card. Um, maybe I'd be interested in buying it. And uh, it's uh, it's been uh, multiple threads. Open up multiple threads. Um, you, you open up one topic, another topic, move on to another. And you see the interest in the person. And before you bore them with like too much stuff, you stop. And then you can talk about one thing, talk about another, you can switch around, learn to do that. Um, my mistake is that I n now need to b build on um, uh, switching the topics when they're complete because sometimes I don't wait long enough to hear the other person with what they're talking about about that particular topic and I switch to the next one and that's when like, a connection is not being made so um, like with this guy from the other day some guy who owns who owns a Dodge Viper Hennessy 1200 horsepower in Ukraine. And he's like, yeah, I said, enough with this country. And uh, here he is living in Sunny Isles, Miami, and we're renting a car to him. And I was like, man, you're kind of cool and interesting. Why don't you tell me right away you had a Dodge Viper Hennessy 1200 horsepower. I'd get you a deal on a rental car right away. And, uh, so, uh, and then we talked about paddle boarding and about legal stuff and corporations and war. You know, he, he, was, he was telling me his situation of scrambling, leaving the city he was at. And I kind of switched the topic back to legal stuff that we mentioned. And, and then uh, Dasha was like, you shouldn't have done that. Why'd you change the topic? And I was like, oh, you're right. I, I need to work on listening better. That's my uh, that's my next step, but um, I woke up today and I thought, "Gee, this is something I heard about years ago." But now uh, I've been kind of on this autopilot mode doing this, these multiple threads. So practice that. Practice opening up multiple topics with people and. It's a way to kind of, on the surface level, it, you know, when you have an interaction with people, your first time meeting or something, you could only be surface level. You can't go really deep on something because that may, they may not be interested in those topics. So you go on several surface level different topics and then allow them to build deeper on which ones they find a connection with. Be like, why is the weather always like this in Florida? Rains and then boom, sunshine. How long have you lived here? Um, see, like that, those two topics are kind of the same and different because your how long have you lived here is like qualifying them to whether they can answer the first question about the weather changing so much sunshine and rain and then you could tell them that you've been here a year and say is it always like this and I said you moved from Minnesota and you're like wow this is crazy and now they may enter in something about you from Minnesota, from the north. They might have a relative or, s or a friend, or they may have moved. And boom, you're, you're building on, 
you're building rapport on something deep. So that's another video we should talk about building rapport, right? I get these messages, I get these one time messages, you know, like those investment guys, those Bitcoin uh, cryptocurrency guys. Oh, I made a killing on this. These are my numbers. Like, uh, do I know you? How about some rapport? Uh, anyways, we jumped around several things and that's kind of what I'm talking about. Jumping around a little bit and then allowing people to build. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know, I'm so glad I said this. I'm so glad I woke up with this thought and said, let's make a video about this. I'm learning for myself. I'm learning for myself. And uh, in trucking, you, you have so many opportunities to go different places and practice building uh, quick relationships with people, fast, uh, making multiple threads, do multiple threads, and you will be blown away at how amazing uh, a, a human interaction can be. So, um, just as cool as YouTube, uh, you know, real life. Uh, so, um, big hello and Thanks for the views. Hope you learned something.